is a vimana shastra written by bharatwaj maharshi so in that there are many vimanas which are which are tra- which are given to us uh, in that there is tripura vimana this tripura vimana is multi mode it can work in air on land and in and on water so it has multifunctional capacities so you can see this is not the uh, proper structure but this is the good uh, picture to show you that there are three puras so this is called tripura because it works in three puras so three areas so three areas are called tripura so it is called tripura tripura vimana and it has three floors which is dedicated to each area to work upon so so now now we have tripura vimana but our research is on imagining tripura vimana as a underwater drone so there are many drones as as of now but the problem with advanced drones are if you go in one way it shows the only the only the direction if you want to see a uh, three other angle it cannot see the other angle you have to move the whole body so but there are many advantages with tripura vimana with the design and the internal components within it because it facilitates the good uh, good components in in it so so here i want to tell small line about the underwater vehicle so underwater vehicle is a unmanned vehicle which is we don't need any operator to operate within it we can just control it from the outside we can take the input and give the this is the introduction so from here my co-author will take over and my name is shiva so from here i'm going to continue like coming to the design part the main thing like the bridge is the like the components which you have considered are from the book vaimanika shastra so we try to take all the components mentioned in the book and try to integrate it into a design so uh, the design contains three floors so basically the first floor is mainly related to the as we said before the tripura vimana is mainly used for three modes so the first floor is mo- mainly for the links for the travel on roads so and also it can also be used when we are near to the water surfaces also so it's not like for example right now the ships and everything what we have what we have right now it's not like they can come till the docks and everything so if we can integrate the wheels into this it would be great so that we can get the even the ships till the shore as well the main purpose of the back room is to facilitate all the mechanisms related to the rotor mechanism systems and the whereas the front room is mainly for the mech- to ensure all the mechanisms for the propeller which is placed in the front and as well in the back itself we also have a electric power unit room which facilitates all the power power necessary for the complete floor and which has the connections through the above the roof and the roof is placed approximately 7 feet from the pita and in each floor there are all the three floors contains the air pipes which keep the constant air circulation for the fresh air and although it is a unmanned vehicle previously the tripura vimanas were used for traveling with the people so we ensured that all the air pipes and everything all the display units and all are exactly the same and the main purpose of the second floor is for to maneuver in and on the water surface so we have two ballast tanks placed in the two corners of the pita so whenever we try to move under water we try to fill them and when we want to move we just try to rem- propel the water out of the tanks and coming to the third floor third floor is mostly about the control units and everything like the control unit is where it controls automatically based on the attitude and everything it controls the whole vimana 
and the other room is for the power generation room and the other one are the air pipes which we are mostly concerned so coming to the assembly we designed all the three floors separately and we later try to integrate them and using few features we try to close and the coming to the simulations part we since we we didn't consider the all the lohas exactly but we tried to consider the closest ones so we took three materials and we tried to apply the pressure like as the same amount of pressure what the vimana would be facing if it is under water up to 5 kilometers so according to that we try to simulate all the with for all the three materials and coming to the usages the main usage of the tripura vimana would be as this is for the underwater drone we the main purpose of designing this vimana is so that to see that when we try to go into the underwater surface we want to study and analyze the ecology of the underwater so that is the main usage of the vimana for what we have considered because this is not the tripura vimana but this is a tripura vimana which we are using it as an underwater drone with the modern technologies so it is not the exact model of the tripura vimana so in the future like since like we, in the future it would be great if we could come up with the materials that have been used in the tripura vimana because the lohas and everything are we could say that we have never seen the materials or anything it's state of the art we can say that as because a material which can be used in all the three areas like when we are in the air we want the material to be as light as possible so that we can have free motion in the air whereas when we are in the water we want it to be as heavy as possible so that we can maneuver we can go as depth as we can so having a material which can be used in both the areas would be like state of the art so it would be great if like we are trying to do the research on for the future papers we want to try to do the research on the materials if possible we are also trying to integrate all the components which i have mentioned before uh, into the original model and do a scale on version of it in the future paper so coming to the conclusion with the help of all the data set and everything we have considered like all the simulation results i think with the three materials which i have taken this is the best material as of now and before i get into the lohas and everything as of now what i have i think this is the best material out of the three so and the references we have been taken from the vaimanika shastra from bharadwaj maharshi to stay informed about the startup ecosystem subscribe to my startup tv